Yo, 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 what's going on, gang? It's your guy, Boro. It's your boy, Honey K. Ray, man. What's up, with y'all? And thank you for t- tapping into another episode of AO Real Talk, man. Uh, we're going to give you a couple seconds to go ahead and leave a like because you know we coming with another heater. All right, there's always a heater on this side. But as you can see by the title, all right, we got another eight at the table discussion. All right. And today we're going to be getting into. Threesome versus a train, double standards for women. All right. So you already know. Good one. <laughs> yeah, I already, you already know what's coming your way on this topic. So without further discussion, let's just get right into it. Is there anything that you wouldn't do in bed? There's nothing I wouldn't do in bed if it didn't. I don't like females. So okay. excluding females is nothing. Nothing. So like anal's on the table? Well, no, I don't Nothing. like anal. Okay, but I don't see? mind, you know, Whoa. like pleasing the man a little bit. <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? Wait, what she just said? Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. <laughs> Yo. Yeah, My fault, yeah. I was fidgeting the screen and everything. Let's, let's start from the top, y'all. Is there anything that you wouldn't do in bed? There's nothing I wouldn't do in bed if it didn't... Have- I don't like females, so okay. excluding females is nothing. nothing. So like anal's on the table? Well, no, I don't nothing. like anal. Okay. But I don't- I'm not gonna lie. A chick that's so that's like so passionate about saying nothing off rip like that, that's yeah. that's you might be you might have an eater on your hand, man. I don't mind, you know, like pleasing the man a little bit. I don't like anal. Okay. But I don't mind, you know, like pleasing the man a little bit. What do you mean? What do you mean? That's a whole other conversation. That's a whole other conversation. We ain't got no time for this. But if you want me back for another episode, we could go all the way. Nah. She said there's nothing she wouldn't do in bed. If you're not. In a threesome, or you're not into other females. No, I, I would do a threesome with two dudes. I don't. I, That's would, a I would train, date, baby. No, it, what? That's so a train. Yeah. I mean, like we're all women, and we're all from different places. Huh? She know she she got the right mindset. She know what's up. It is that two men, two men on one joint is not a threesome. I repeat, two men on one joint is not a threesome. That is the five train, you heard? Five, two, five train, two train, all of that, you heard? <laughs> uh, shuttle, shuttle straight to 180. <laughs> that's, a five, that's a train, man. Don't ever get it mistaken, ladies, straight up. I don't care what your fantasy is or what, I don't care about none of that shit. That shit is a train. If you if you fantasize about two or three niggas uh, having sex with you simultaneously, that is a train. <laughs> that is a train. Shit. You gotta lay the standard out. Make sure you know. You feel me? In the most in the most properest terms, that is a train. That is a form of transportation, ma. Just letting you know. Just letting you know. I ain't got nothing to say on that one. That's, that's, that speaks for itself. So we have different belief. But what I wanted her to understand, like she lives in New York and don't let these niggas get to you. Like it's a train. Like, you know, they're not respecting you. They're not understanding it's a threesome. I got a question. Yeah. No, it's not. No, it's not. It is a train. Oh, it's about to get spicy. I thought spicy. it was about to be between. I thought it was about to be between a joint and one of the dudes. There's two joints. It's about to get, oh yeah, we in here. And I, I like so- this though. Hold up, hold up. I like this though, right? Because women always be trying to twist. You feel me? Whenever dudes say it, women always be trying to be like, oh, no, it's not. Da, 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 da. So what is it if it's two girls on a guy? It's fine for that. But then when it's two guys on a, on a girl, it's, it's a train. That's not fair. That's um double standards. So I'm glad that they about to have this discussion between two women. And she going to give her the real. So let's get into it. Oh, that's what I would date. I would date a bisexual okay, dude. Okay, you want to get trained on? Train. And what the fuck is your Nothing. point, Nothing. I'm just saying you, you like to get trained on, baby. Yo, this, yo, this, now nah, this escalated brazy uh, quick. And I ain't gonna hold you. I ain't gonna why hold she, you. Why she violated? 
because no cap, she because because she called she her a hoe, basically. <laughs> nah, not even that she called her a hoe, but more so guilty conscience. Like, yo, basically, she probably had a couple times where she got a train ran on her. Like, so now she, you know, train. You know, you know, if, 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 if niggas say, yo, she niggas, she, she let niggas run a train on her, it's mostly being associated with that you a slide or a hoe, you know what I'm saying? So she know in the back of her mind, like, wow, so she's calling me a hoe because she already, she wouldn't have that aggression if she never had a train ran on her, you feel me? And it's kind of like, it's kind of like somebody calling you a thief. If you know you ain't do it, why are you so, you know what I'm saying? You just let that not let it slide, but you say your piece and then you go about your business. You know what I'm saying? You're not going, you know what I'm saying? Show aggression and all of that. You just gonna say, yo, I ain't do that or whatever, and that's it. But she a little too, she oh, arr, arr, arr. she getting right. right. <laughs> she right. barking right now. She barking right now. And then it's like I told y'all from the beginning, any chick that's just coming out saying like from the gate, like she's so passionate about saying she's down with anything like like you just like damn shorty anything like damn relax like you already know that she's been with the shits like just been with the shits for real she for is real. A so that's a, what I do. Yo, I, like wouldn't date, I would on. date a bisexual okay, dude. You want to get trained on? A train. And what the fuck is your Nothing. point? Nothing. I'm just saying you. You like to get trained on, baby girl. Get no, I don't girl. like to. Yeah. 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 I mean, so, right? I mean, from time out, time out. This shorty. Oh. Time that out. is crazy. This how y'all giving it up at eight at the table. <laughs> <laughs> This should look like a fucking reality show or some shit. Like it's about to go to the uh, you know, the the the, the split screen, the confession joint. But they dead did that. They just had shorty. Yeah. Movie. That's why I was dead thinking that. Like, wait, hold on, y'all trying to like really spice this joint up? Nah. A guy standpoint, like if we have a threesome with. Hold on, let's read the definition. Chain usually regarding one female and multiple males simultaneously. Synonyms. Synonymous with gangbang, she ran train with the hockey team. <laughs> All right. oh, two girls, one guy and two girls. Like we're we're bigged up on that, and it's like you know a good thing. But why do you they think it's a bad thing, or, or degrading in a way where they people may think that if okay, or deg- see this is what this is what shorty that got mad this her definition right here threesome yeah one group of three, <laughs> two people joined together for simultaneous sexual pleasure uh, yeah fuck out of here you know a good thing but why do you think it's a bad thing where or degrading in a way where they people may think that if a girl has a threesome with two guys i would have a threesome with another dude just not a threesome with another woman because I'm not attracted to women, and I don't, I don't think that it's fair to call it ran a train either. Because why is it fair? Why are you laughing? Girl, why it's, is it's, it fair? It's, it's crazy. Go ahead. Why is it fair? <laughs> then there's no, something. What do you say? Why is it fair? Nigga said you freaky freaky. <laughs> then there's no, something wrong with that. I- Yo, this is crazy. Because in my head, I was about to say, what if this dude right here? is shorty's uh dude but then in my head i'm like okay probably not his hairline is brazy i ain't gonna hold you but anyway so i was like i was like that kid is Yo. special <laughs> But nah, nah, yeah. no bullshit. No, no, hold on, no funny shit. So I'm sitting here thinking that, but it's crazy because as soon as I think that, this guy just comes here and says, he said, he said, you freaky freaky. He said, there's nothing wrong with that. Now, if this is his shorty right here, this mm-hmm. guy, I bet you nine out of ten times the way that he reacted by saying nothing's wrong with that, he probably mm-hmm. the type to swing or let his shorty do something with another dude now this is just 
a prediction I'm coming off with based off of the way he reacted to that and what's going on right now. If that is his shorty, they kind of give me a couple vibe right now. So right, let's see. I would, I would X the other girl out. So it was like, but no, but okay, there's nothing wrong with that. Why is it fair for what? Why is it fair for No, what? I'm a super freak. Yeah. Yeah. yeah there's nothing why wrong with that. No, no. Why is it? Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, y'all. She's giving me. She's she is a city girl, hot girl. That uh, I'm whatever you want to call it, a hoe. She is that because it's like you you gotta understand. There's a way to carry yourself and conduct yourself. There could be other women at this table that are more freakier than her, way more with the shits than her. But the way that she's so loud and proud and prideful about being so yeah. freaky and everything, you feel me? It's just like it's like. Like sure, there's a certain way to present yourself. Like I'm pretty sure the other women at the table might be freaks as well, but you just like you just like putting it on front street. You just letting it be known, like yo, I'm a freak. What's what's up? Like you know, what I'm saying another dude might look at that and be like, oh, where is she? Are you a freak? Okay, now now niggas is plotting on you type shit. You know what I'm saying? And as I feel like this, they already got a motive already. You know what I'm saying? Like they already want to hit, but now that you're saying you're a freak, they're probably thinking like, "Oh, she easy. Like you into that? Like, oh, let's get it popping." You know what I'm saying? Ladies, let let that be a note. You know what I'm saying? Think before you talk. I think, and I think is also nothing wrong with her saying that she's a freak. But I just think there's a way to articulate yourself in a way that it just don't come off so like you have to oh, wear it so proudly. Yeah, like yeah. So, you know like, you can be a freak. You can be a freak, but it's like you know it's kind of like what with, with, with uh with you know and, and, and if you ever heard like an R and B song or something like that be a lady in the sheets but a freak in the bed you can be a freak but you don't gotta be a hoe though you know what I'm saying she kind of sounded like more on the Oh, sad. And I'm gonna and I'm gonna say this right now too. You know, if you didn't know, like ladies, like 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 real niggas love a joint that is like mysterious, can't find no dirt on her, nothing. She 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 carries herself like a lady. You feel me? Damn, they don't even look like she a freak. Damn, they don't even look like she know what she doing in the bedroom. And then you know you scoop it, and then she's she's it's lit, bro. It's lit. Bro, it's a dude lit. gonna hold on to that, like. <laughs> Facts. Find me a nice. Find me a nice eater. <laughs> eater. That ass though, you feel me? So, I ain't trying to suppress nobody's expression, self-expression, or anything. But you do got to know what type of things you attract when you put certain energy out. Is it fair Sorry. for two guys to have? A threesome with two girls, and then it's like, oh, threesome, da 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 da. But then, yeah, it's always a double stand standard, and like, I don't, I just don't, I think it's a rhetorical question, but like, it's just, and even me saying that I would have sex with two dudes, because I, I don't care if I'm dating the guy and he's openly bisexual. I like guys like that. Um, but what? I, I, what? Yeah, she just a, she just with the shit. What? So like, Whoa! Nice. Hold up! Hold up! Hold up! Hold up! Hold up! Hold up! So basically, you're saying that you are you you. It's either you probably have entertained or you're willing to entertain a male who is gay, and you would be in a relationship with. You see that? You see that right there? That's where you. That just sounds like mad uncleansiness and mad like STDs, my nigga. Like, you feel me? Like, no, no cap. Like, you know what I'm saying? But hey, man, to each his own, baby girl. If that's what you like, hey, I ain't glazing, but hey, do your thing, man. Look, if I show you, if I show you like bisexual, man, I ain't glazing. I'm good. Yo, bro, just look at this picture. Just look at this picture right here. This dude, like, huh? Boy, man, them like, two huh? right there. Take it like, dick, like, huh? like, huh? You see how this? Now, nah, hold up. Now, nah, this gotta be. This gotta be the temp. This gotta be the thumbnail, boy, because this is crazy, son. Oh shit. Shorty really, shorty really over there. Like, nah. Let me really finish this. Uh, 
mimosa because shorty out here really wild and like <laughs> like nah, already, she she eating ass she sucking toes she doing all of that <laughs> bro she said it mad Yo. passionately in the beginning mad passionately in the beginning she was like anything anything <laughs> like she was Yo. mad passionate about it she, she deep in her bag no cap I know a boy over here, like, boy, I'm trying to see if I can, <laughs> <laughs> no, see, yes. I'm trying to see if I can kill this after. <laughs> nigga, like, oh, shit. Like, damn, she into that shit? I ain't had that type of shit in a minute. Damn, I need me one of these right now. <laughs> nigga yeah. looking like, nigga looking like black, you know, with that bum ass ball. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, let me stop cutting that. Hold so, on, no, no, let me chill. Let me chill. Oh shit! Little peep, I would date little peep. All these, like, I would date someone that's bisexual. And nah, bro, you gotta look at shorty face right here. So while she talking, peep, I would date little peep. All these, like, I would date someone that's bisexual. And I own, honestly thought about that like a month ago, and I was like, oh shit. Like I would totally date a bisexual dude if he was openly bisexual, and he was honest with you. Yeah, absolutely. And I'm sweating saying this right now because like I've never even said this any to anyone other than my best friend. But I wonder when I was why. In high school, I think she caught herself having to feel like I think she just she might be a chat box and she just ended up chatting herself into some shit that she can't chat she, back she, to right yeah. now. Yeah, facts. She's kind of, she probably was trying to prove a point or some shit like that. And like you said, you only told your best friend and you probably only wanted to tell your best friend. But um, here you are. <laughs> cool. I used to hang out and be part of the bisexual community. And it was just cool. We're kids having fun. But now I'm like, damn, I'm dating the same people that I was hanging out with in high school. Yeah. So that must be some a culture that I'm into. Yeah. So, um, and so for someone to say, oh, like being ran on by a train. No, it's my boyfriend and maybe a guy we both have a crush on. Oh, we both so, have a crush on. Okay, that makes sense. I, 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 I believe that- I don't know. Are, are I, pause, pause, pause. For me, it's like this, right? All right, how much respect are you gonna have for this dude that you're dating if you see another another man treating him how he treats you in the bedroom? Where does that where does that relationship go after you see your, your man get dominated in the bedroom? Bro, I think she's chatting, bro. She has to be. I don't. I, I mean, I believe her, but I think she's chatting though. Like she's definitely chatting. That's for a fact. But it's just like, I hope you're not just, you know. Continue the video, man. Uh, yeah, like this should got me dumbfounded. Sexual or in bisexual general, in general. Bisexual. If you're a guy and you close your eyes, you don't know who's penetrating that shit. It still Wait, don't feel good. good. Wait, what is she? What did she just say? Are <laughs> bisexual? Are bisexual, bisexual in general? Bisexual. In general. bisexual. If you're a guy and you close your eyes, you don't know who's penetrating that shit. It still Wait, don't feel oh good, God. whether it's a male or female. Wait, pause. We're not gonna jump into that get subject. The, get the strap. Get the strap. That is not true. <laughs> that is not Yo, true. Get the strap. That is not true. <laughs> We're not gonna go into that, right? Wait, wait. But... You, were, you were saying how um okay, so. sex is like. A sin. This is what I'm saying. Like, I'm from Brooklyn. Like, so they're looking at it like two dudes and one girl. That's a train. That's what I was raised. Are you out. Jamaican? No, I'm Haitian, actually. That's okay. nice. No. Yeah, but that's how they look at it. Like, you know, two dudes and one girl is a train. Mm -hmm. Two girls and one guy, that's a threesome. Probably most of the people on the table are going to refer to it as what I just told you. Mm -hmm. I would probably shock that you were single when you seeing it. But at the end of the day, I just feel like double standard is everywhere. At the end of the day, if a dude star, you know what I'm saying? Like, a dude cannot be bisexual. He's not accepted. Like, they're going to judge you at the end of the day. They ju just like the other time you judge me, I'm going to judge. You know, that's just a dude. Just like a girl cannot have a train run on, they're going to still judge you. 
That's so in my hood, if you know you got train money on, they would they will, you will. So in my hood, in my hood. And yo, I'm you from I'm also Haitian. Okay. I'm also from Brooklyn and I'm from East New York, Brooklyn. When I was in if he if he he bought he sound like he bought a lot, but go ahead, yeah. Listen, listen, this stream is being ran by two Bronx natives. Culture in New York City, Bronx, Brooklyn, it, with certain things with women is those all the all them things is the same. So Trisha. <laughs> you feel me? So if he's about to say anything different from what she just said, that's gonna tell me a whole lot about him right now. But Facts. I gotta see this outlook. High school, in high school. Yes, all the boys were like, "Oh, if a uh, if a uh, if a uh, guys with two girls, yeah, 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 that's awesome." But if a uh, uh, if uh, a girl is with you know two guys, yeah, that's running and trying. Yes, that's true. But as you get older and you mature, that changed. So, for example, I I'm, I just turned forty. I, I, it's I I at some point in my I guess early twenties, I was like, "No, if a guy can do this." a woman can do this also, and it doesn't have to be degrading. And I feel like that's why a lot of us are repressed, is yeah. because we- Man, when you get to 40, some, some people just don't be giving, giving a damn about certain things, man. But, uh, <laughs> uh, <sighs> Hey man, all I'm gonna say is, I ain't judging nobody lifestyle, man. It's just different strokes with different strokes. I'm just letting you know right now, ain't no, ain't no rokey pokey going on with my team, straight up and down. That's, that's what team. I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking about as he says that. Like you and me, there ain't no rokey pokey going on with my joint. Like if that's <laughs> my joint. You feel me? And we decide to have a threesome. It's two girls because that other shit. Hey, that that ain't that ain't. You know what I'm saying? That's for the birds. But um, yeah, man. It, I mean, it sound like. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna keep it's it a rack. Like, I, I'm gonna keep it a rack. When I was younger, when you younger and you thirsty to get your 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 first bodies or whatnot or catch a new kill, I ain't. I, I grew up in the Bronx, bro. So it's like you know when we was younger, running a train on the joint. That shit was fun. When you older, I, if if there's any type of train situation, like yo, I go first and then you do. Yeah, you, like, you I don't want to do all that when at the, like you feel me. So like no, I don't know. Tracks. You live by these social stand yes. standards. Yes. We're gonna close yes. that exactly. topic. We're gonna close yeah. that topic. When I watch porn, I watch two guys and one girl. That's why I turn me on. That's my porn. That's my fantasy. But in my and I've always said every girl's fantasy deep down, whether it's a big fantasy or a small baby potential fantasy is to deal is to deal with more than one guy. I feel like that's every right. woman fantasy deep down, whether they admit it or not. My husband make it seem like it's so long. But that's, but that's, that that's, that's, that's what I'm saying. But when I watch porn, you can watch my porn right now. It's really two guys and one dude. Like, that's what, I don't want to watch one guy and one girl. It's not, it's not fun to me. So, but that's what I'm suppressed. saying. We feel suppressed, and then and then we think that whatever we turns us on or whatever. Makes us feel wrong. bad, like yes, exactly. in in the. Not, I mean, I can go into a whole history not, thing, but Annie, I have a question for you. So after today's uh, conversation here, will you leave here? Because uh, remember, just because you're from somewhere, as you get older, you mature and learn new things. So after you leave here today, will you still call it a train, or will you call it? You know what's the crazy thing? So as the older I'm getting, I'm learning because. I lost my virginity, like, so I'm not, I'm not even lying about sex and people, whatever. But I'm open minded. I'm a free spirit. I open minded, but they really make it seem like we. I don't have argument where people almost say like, "Yo, you know, if you get with the other dude, that's not even bisexual. That's a double standard." You know, you know, it's, it's a lot of conversation, just like what she knows and not what I know. I'm not coming for you. So, like, right. You know what I'm saying? I think but you, so you, when you yeah, I would, here, you yeah, I would I definitely know. have like, yo, you know, people. When it comes to sex, people are weird, like being behind closed doors. Wait, you don't on, know what on, people are doing behind closed doors. Hold on, hold on. You don't know what I'm doing behind closed doors because I probably do a lot of behind closed doors. So, I'm thinking about behind so, closed doors. So I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say how I feel in this situation. Here we go. I grew up the way I grew up, and the people I grew up with, my homies that I grew up with, we ran train. Yes, and I told you a lot of females. I understand that. Yes. So, the thought of my my exclusive woman 
being included in a, the type of people that we ran train on, or I should say women that we ran train on, it was a woman that we typically didn't have much respect for to okay. begin with. Okay. You know? But so, again, but that was when you were younger. Even, as even an now, adult now, you, that's even, what you still wait, you hold call on. it? Even now, if I called not one gonna, of my friends and said, hey, look, gonna cuff, I got somebody who wants to run. Uh, uh, yeah, not I, he's, cuff, the bald uh, dude saying it like, the bald dude saying it like, if he was with the homie, they went out for some drinks and they met a joint that night, ran a train on her that night. He's saying it like he might be talking to the homie, like, yeah, I ain't gonna bro, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Like, I, I fake like it. I'm thinking he, he talking like he he that type, like he bought a couple yeah. of drinks that that he yeah. like yeah, he looked like that type, no funny shit. <laughs> <laughs> no bullshit. Like, I ain't gonna lie. If, if if you train in a joint, like it's just like we could kick it. I, we can kick it after or whatever, but I'm not about to cuff you though. Know? Like, no, I'm sorry, I'm not cuffing it. I'm sorry. That's that's just like, you know, You're suppose suppose young. suppose like I suppose because there's women like this. You feel me? There's women like this. Like your man's could call you and be like, "Yo, bro, I got a freak over here. What's good? Come through." Woo -woo. And that'll be the first time you met her, and she jump it off. Yeah. You feel yeah. me? And then, and then what? Like, oh, you found out you okay? You, you after that, yeah, maybe you exchange numbers. Oh, you find out she's a cool person. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, and you know what I'm saying? I guess you start killing some more again or whatever on the one on one or whatever. You gonna cuff it? Like, I don't, I don't think so. I wouldn't, personally speaking, I wouldn't because of how I met you. Like my man's. My man's hit like we are like you you jump off like I can't no I can't I'm sorry it, no it's not happening Good. but my dude in the video more power to you my brother if that's how you live in <laughs> then you know what I'm saying I ain't got no you know what I'm saying that's how you live in that. I'm not doing that my G I, there's too many women in the world that you know what I'm saying that um i would meet hopefully on a different um in a different light or a different situation i should say and um you know there's a lot of meet. dudes bro there's a lot of dudes not sorry not to cut you off but there's a lot of dudes uh -huh. bro, that there's a lot of dudes that's cuffing a joint that they didn't they don't know got trained before mm-hmm mm-hmm whether mm -hmm. they didn't ask because it's just not something you asked and it didn't come up in conversation yet, or because that's something that even if they found out, they wouldn't even care. So, so would you? Would you? I right, so would you care? If, uh, let's say, let's say, let's say. All right, boom. So let's say you with your joint, right? It's like. Yeah, you you in the bed with your joint or whatever. You've been talking to her for a little minute now, whatever. It's like whatever y'all talking, and then you yeah y'all having a sexual talk or whatever. And then she's like, oh, um, you ask her like, yo, what's the the wildest shit you ever did? And then she's like, oh yeah, I let a couple of dudes run a train on me, or like let's say she let four niggas run a train. <laughs> And since she let four niggas run a train on her, what you gonna what you gonna say at that morning and moment in time? Um, I mean, if I mean if it wasn't like no main thing, Oz, you know, if it wasn't no main thing, nah, this is your main thing. This is your main thing. Y'all been y'all been probably dating for like a couple months. You know, people are gonna look at this response and probably say, especially the women, probably gonna hear this response <laughs> and probably like try to like shoot me down for it. Everybody got their different standards. Me, when I found that out, me personally, you know. I don't feel like I have the type of energy and spider senses to even cuff a chick that that happened to. But at the same time, um, if I find that out, I can't lie. Like that just was, that's the beginning of the ending right there. I'm not going to lie to you. Damn. Damn. He ruthless. No easy. He ruthless. I can't, I can't potentially recreate children with that. I am going to say that. That sounds crazy. With, the, with that woman. And then one day 
some dudes could just look at my son like, yeah, nigga, that's why, <laughs> <laughs> that's why we ran the train. Uh, that's why we, that's why we ran. Yo, that's crazy, son. Like, I can't have that floating in my son's life or in my life. Like, like, and that's not to put any chick that ever did anything down. Life is about experiences. Do your thing. But, you know. Because I, I feel like there is situations where maybe a chick, th- that's the thing. I'm sorry. I just think differently. I feel like, you know, any chick would be with anything. It's just It just depends on what man is leading the situation, what environment it is, and how she feels in the moment. So I feel like there's a lot of women that probably don't have the most experienced sexual life or sexual history, but they may have ended up doing something at a party or in that circumstance or that whatever. And then yeah. they really was so naive that they didn't realize until later, like, oh shit, I was such a thought or a hoe that night. So it's like, are you was you just a hoe that night, or you can be a hoe in a lot of right. different type of scenarios or whatnot? So that's why for me, it's like if you're already doing one, two, three things. Yeah, very uh very sticky situation. Sticky. Unfortunately. Unfortunately, let's get, let's get back into what my guy's about to break down. And train, mm-hmm. they're like, okay, it's circumstantial. That's it's, my point. It's, it's wait, 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 like the wait, circumstances. Hold on, hold on. It's really not circumstantial from our society, our truth, which may be but, different than yours. No, but that's the circumstances. Your circumstances, and then mine. Like, well, the truth is different. The circumstances are still the same because it's still two guys and one girl. But what I'm saying is how we were raised. We treated this type of girl with less respect, which okay. is not good. I'm not, saying it's, 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 I'm not saying it's a good thing. Okay. okay. But yeah. when I had a threesome with two girls, mm-hmm. I was praised for it. So, Rico, do you feel like, do you do you not feel like that's slut shaming? Do you not feel like? No. Do you not feel I'm like not- that? Okay. What what let's what what the what what is slut shaming? What what exactly? Oh, the- uh, uh, let it let it play. So so you can you know misogynist at all? So no, can, not at all. Why? I mean, at the end of the day, like you gotta understand, like majority of men in in the millennial world, okay. we have a certain we hold women to a very high standard. If my wife came up to me and says she wanted to have a threesome with me, her, and another man, I would not. I wouldn't like. I wouldn't like break up with her or anything, but I would not allow that to happen. Yeah, the yeah, thought, yeah, yeah. the thought, the thought of another male penetrating my woman is is not Why acceptable for me. Great? If you feel like your wife is now degraded in terms of how you look at her, I based would, on I, her I, desire, I, based I, on her I, desire pause, pause. to want to have sex with I, two men, I see that as problematic. I, I, yeah. I clearly wait, wait, one that back, one that back my woman is is not acceptable for me if you feel like your wife is now degraded in terms of how you look at her based on her desire based on her desire to want to have sex with two men i see that as problematic how do you feel about that comment bro he said that that's problematic if if your wife is you feel like you're degrading your wife because of her desires listen man everybody gonna feel how they feel my g it is what it is yo i'm i'm on that same type time though you're not you're not gonna be um you're not gonna be cream pie in my shorty my <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like, nah, keep it a buck, keep it a buck, keep it a buck, keep it a buck. Keep it a buck, right? If this is my if it's a wife thing, if it's a wife thing us, like ring on the finger, bro. Like, we you this ain't no Will and Jada thing. What are you dealing with? Like, this ain't no, it's, it's not that. No, we're not doing that. We're not no. doing that. I don't. I don't even care if I'm my fault. I'm like I don't even care if we don't have a threesome. I'm not really, you know what I'm saying. If we have one, it's cool. But I ain't really, you know what I'm saying. I ain't really. Uh, I ain't really big on the threesome thing. I'm not like you know what I'm saying. Like oh, when I get a shorty, like I'm gonna have a threesome. I'm not even on it like that. If it happens, it's cool. 
If it don't, cool. But if she asks me that, like, oh yeah, can we have a threesome? I'm be like, all right, cool. But if she be like, oh, but with another man, I'm be like, hell no, you bugging out. Like, you know what I'm saying? One, one, I ain't what I was. I ain't doing nothing with him. You feel me? And two, like, what I'm supposed to watch him glaze your donuts? Like, hell no, you wildin'. Like, nah, come on, come on. I'm sorry, but nah, that's I'm not even judging nobody else's lifestyle. I know there's couples and 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 that everybody are into, into that everything. Type. Everything, yeah, everybody's into a lot of different shit. But me, minute upon that, may I tell you the straight minute upon that, real talk, minute upon that. Yeah, I'm not. Uh, I ain't with none of that either, man. And I clearly is. just said I would not look at her no differently, and okay. I would not break up with her. Okay. Because that is a fantasy. We all have fantasies. That's okay. cool. But okay. when you live up to certain fantasies, there's certain things you shouldn't do. Okay. And that's, and that's how I. Believe. That is how I. That's how I. Only women cannot do that. No, no, no. I'm not just saying only women. Sleep with another woman, and she, she can't. And you can basically sleep with other women all day long. I, no, that's my wife. And if I'm exclusive to her, if, if we have, right, so, unless we have a different agreement, if me and her are exclusively monogamous, we are not sleeping with nobody. You know what it is? I would want my man. Unless like, agreed on our both I would ends. want to see yeah. my man. Like, okay I would want to see my man like sleeping with another woman. That's because that's what you like. But I don't want to see my man with another. Man. Let's just go back to so that, uh, you know, if you're a guy and feel like based off your desires and whatnot, not saying it's a positive or negative thing. If you're a guy and you feel like you can't be the one chick, man, don't be out here playing with grown women that want to build and connect with somebody. And then right. and then you out here cheating and you get into situations you don't need to be into. Man, if you build a connection with a chick, you let her know what it is. Man, if she digging you, respect you, and is into you that much, then you're going to have a shorty like this talking about, like, all right, do your thing as long as you let me know where right. I stand or whatnot. So, you know, that's what that is. I'm in the room. I don't want to see that. I don't give a yeah. fuck. That's a double know. standard. See, I'm an officer. It's a double standard. It is. It is. It's I stuff that people are great. You know what I'm saying? I feel like that's weird. See, I, I, I think that's I think <laughs> interesting. Is that I'm good, I would man. never want my man to be in another room with another woman. But you but want to with another man? Because I, yeah. I can be in a different space. I could be coming from the mind frame of you where I would right. never want to have a threesome with two guys. Like, I think that's just absurd. But the person that that, that per type of person, but it's interesting to see the dynamics of each individual and and because I'm sitting next to you. And that's what I'm trying to tell you. That's not me judging you. Just like I would just go a different route. Yeah, you, know you, you wouldn't mind if there's another female, and I wouldn't mind if there's another male, depending on the circumstances. Everybody's different. Like when you're in a relationship, you know it's well. Matter of fact, she did say she liked bisexual guys. Because in my head, I'm like, I'm like, this started with talking about trains. So two guys penetrating her, but then she actually did say she liked bisexual guys. So it was like she's really good watching. Two guys do them, boom, boom, but hey. Chip, or you, you know, you're falling for somebody. How do you go about it? Do you wear your heart in your sleeve or you just hold back? What's, what do you do? Uh, I love a guy. Um, it, de it, it depends, on, it, it depends Crazy. on the circumstances. But at the same time, it's just like, <laughs> Um, I'm really open about it. Chevy riding high, Chevy, like, Chevy riding you know, high. Everybody just love, you know? Everybody in this table right here, everybody. But you know what? We think that we... All right, guys. All right, guys. I think that's where we're going to end it off right here, man. Shout out to eight at the table. As y'all can see, that's why we like, you know, getting some of their content into these reactions because they be having some dope discussions. But yeah, man, y'all see our views on, our outlooks on that, bro. You got anything to throw into the pot on that one, bro? Hey, man. Do your thing, man. Um... Like uh, like I said, like I stated earlier in the video, man, different strokes for different folks, man. I ain't judging nobody, but uh, you know, you do what works for you, man. Do what works for you. <laughs> I say right. that much. All right, man. We're gonna wrap it up right there. So y'all go ahead, leave a comment. Let us know your thoughts on this subject or whatnot. You know, do you have experience with any any of these things? Are you into these things? What things you want man. to participate in? As you letting Nick, hey, yo, fellas, is you letting dudes glaze your wife donuts? 
Are you letting do like, let us know in the comments? And ladies, are you into are you into two men that like each other? Is you into that type of wave? Let us know in the comments, man. You feel me? Make sure y'all subscribe and all that. You're all right, man. We checking out until next time, gang. Peace.